Today is Tuesday, May 19th. Welcome to this edition of Nevada County Now. Coming up, we've got a COVID testing update, the new Grass Valley School District principals, new recreation opportunities, and we went by the food bank to volunteer. Check it out. I'm your host, Cole Pettit. Welcome to Nevada County Now. In today's top story, Nevada County Public Health has updated the testing numbers. The county has now performed 2,189 tests. Our previous total was 1,865, so there have been 324 tests performed since last Monday's update. Our case count remains unchanged. We reached a total of 41 laboratory confirmed cases, 29 in eastern Nevada County and 12 in western Nevada County and there are currently no confirmed active cases. As a point of clarification, the county is updating testing numbers weekly, but this does not apply to positive cases, which will be reported as soon as they are confirmed. It has appeared as though there is just a weekly update because there have been no new positive cases. The number of tests performed is updated weekly due to the need to be sure of the location of the person being tested. Any person can be tested at any OptumServe location, and it takes time to coordinate where each person is actually from and report it to their county's public health department. The Grass Valley School District has announced the hiring of two new principals for the coming school year. Ashley Vett will be the new principal of Scotton School, and Lisa Lowell will, be, will take the helm at Lyman Gilmore. Ashley Vett comes from the Marysville Joint Unified School District, where he is, she has been employed since 2003 as a teacher, district coordinator, and most recently as an elementary school principal. Ashley is known for building positive and meaningful relationships with staff, students, parents, and members of the school community. Lisa Lowell has been a teacher at Lyman Gilmore School since 2001. During Lisa's interview process, she stated that, the most important qualification that I possess is my ability to listen to the school community and collaboratively lead people through the process of accomplishing a shared vision that will benefit the students, staff, and community. Both principals will be stepping into these new roles beginning July 1st, 2020. The McCourtney Road Transfer Station will begin to accept household hazardous waste and metals drop-offs beginning Wednesday, May 20th. Customers are asked to follow enhanced safety procedures when accessing McCourtney Road Transfer Station and the household hazardous waste and metals drop-off areas. In addition to a facility-wide requirement to wear masks, customers utilizing this area are required to always stay in their vehicles unless directed otherwise by staff, have materials in their pickup bed or unlocked trunk or hatchback for staff to easily remove, as staff will not remove materials from the back seat and lower their car window no more than three inches when conducting the verbal questionnaire for drop-offs. Please keep your mask on while answering these questions. These rules have been put in place to minimize direct contact between employees and customers at the transfer station. The transfer station continues to accept trash, green waste, and commingled recycling. For a full list of accepted and not accepted materials, visit the County of Nevada Public Works Facebook page. The Tahoe National Forest has begun to slowly reopen some recreation areas. Generally, trailheads, boat launches, and staging areas are open and have been for some time, but some may still be inaccessible due to late season snow and other factors. Trash removal services remain limited, and they ask that you please pack out all trash and waste. Toilet facilities also remain limited, so please plan accordingly. The following developed recreation sites and areas are available for use beginning May 15th. Again, full services such as trash removal and restroom facilities may be limited. In the Truckee area on the Highway 89 South Corridor in Placer County, all boat ramps and picnic sites are available for day use only. The Forest Hill and French Meadows area in Placer County, Parker Flat OHV staging area, and Pine Creek OHV area are available for day use. Along Highway 89 North and Little Truckee River area in Sierra County, Bear Valley is available for day use. In the Bullard's Bar Reservoir area in Yuba County, Dark Day Boat Ramp and Picnic Area is available for day use. And along Highway 49 Corridor in Camptonville area in Nevada County, Oregon Creek and Golden Quartz are both available for day use. 
Developed campgrounds in the Tahoe National Forest are still closed at this time. This date closing any site for any reason is not an action we take lightly, but protecting our visitors and employees remains our highest priority. We are working with our state and local partners to determine the best path forward to safely reopen closed sites, including campgrounds. This week, the union is focusing on the nonprofits in our community. The Food Bank of Nevada County and all their volunteers have been working overtime to make sure those in need in our community don't have to go without. Earlier today, we went by the Food Bank of Nevada County to find out what it's like to volunteer for them and offer them a hand, for a little while at least. All right, today is Tuesday, the 19th of May. We are out here in front of the Nevada County Food Bank. We're gonna go see what the volunteer process is like and find out what they need from volunteers. Let's go do it. Okay, I'm uh, gonna take your set. temperature, okay? Okay, all Just right. hold still. Okay, you're good. Here you go. <laughs> Um, thank, you. thank you for coming, and I'm glad you have a mask on. We're going to get you some gloves. Perfect. So, um, the day in the life of a volunteer at the food bank. Yeah, so exactly. So, when you get here, you come on in. When you're in our warehouse, be sure to watch out for the forklifts and pallet movers and things like that, because there's a lot of working parts that happen. Um, these are our volunteers over here. So, when you come in and it's your first day, we're going to have you sign the volunteer sign-in sheet. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. This, this is our volunteer coordinator. Hi, I'm Hi. Rita. Nice to meet you. This is Cole. He's going to volunteer today. Okay, great. He needs to sign in on the volunteer sign-in sheet. Okay. And I'm going to turn him over to you. Great. Welcome. So you're going to come in. You're going to sign in. We uh, Then you're going to wash your hands here and grab a pair of gloves. And then we're going to put you on the line. Perfect. So how many volunteers do you have here right well, now? Well, right now, over the span of the week, we pack in two different locations of warehouses, and we have a distribution site. We use about 50 volunteers. We have a crew of about 10 that pack about 1,200 bags of groceries on Tuesday. Wow. And then we have a smaller crew that packs about 700 bags over two days in a different location. Then on Thursdays, we distribute to, on average, about 800 families a week. Uh, in the past, the food bank had, was feeding about 2,200 people a month. We now see that weekly. Wow. So we've gone from, you know, wonderful retiree volunteers laz lazily packing grains, which we love and appreciate and miss, to an industrial crew packing USDA. Uh, the trucks have increased. Uh, the funding has increased as far as I'm aware of for getting uh, the USDA, and we're really supported by them. And so uh, we have a crew of about 10 here, 12 here today, three new people. So you're not alone in being the new, being a new Wonderful. crew person. <laughs> um, and uh, so if you have any questions, let me know. But just be very aware that this is hard work. Warehouse work is physically, very physically demanding. Well, uh, what is your need for volunteers like? Are you meeting it right now? Uh, our need for volunteers is we need packers on Tuesdays and Wednesdays from the hours of 9 to 1. So if you're physically capable of packing and you're not in the high risk group, we really appreciate our senior volunteers. But right now we have to um, let the uh, I'll talk a little louder. We'll have to let the uh, we'll have to let the younger people serve right now just to just to keep our vulnerable population at ease. Um, and then the other uh, the other opportunities are distribution on Thursdays from 8 a.m. to 1:30 ish. Uh, and that is g actually giving the food out. It's a drive-through service at the Cedar Ridge Seventh-day Adventist Church. And then the other opportunity coming up is a smaller commitment. It's a one-hour commitment to drive school lunches for children. So we need local drivers who are willing to pick up here at the warehouse and then take uh, the school lunch to either a, a location that the county is setting up and then giving out to the children. It takes about an hour and it's an eight-week program. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, great, thank you. We have a target today, but I'm not sure exactly where that target will lie. It'll lie somewhere between 800 to 1,200 bags of groceries. And we're just getting started, so this is our morning. We start slow. I'm going to put you on the line. Okay. That works. Yeah, I already did this one right for this. Right here. Cool. Oh, and Hi, Joy. He's, oh, no. nice. I know. Normally we anyway. would. Yeah. <laughs> we, he's here to volunteer today. So awesome. can you put him on the line, please? Yeah. Do you want to be right here? Sure. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll open the bags for you real quick and make it 
don't want to mess it up. You just start oh, putting fine. in these two cans. Okay. Pass it to her and she'll do the next two. <coughs> so I just put it in the bag for you. All right, so I'm going to do these two. Alrighty. Oh, wow, this is going to go fast. Got to make sure we get everything right. Uh, looks like we got some ground pork and some soup, some sliced potatoes and some pinto beans down there. I can't see what the rest of the stuff is. How long have you guys been working here? Uh, at the warehouse, what are we on, week 12? Well, We're on week 12, and then I volunteered at the monthly drive through in Colfax for probably two years, would be my guess. Yeah. Wow. And then my husband and I also do the drive through and then my son, the drive through on Thursdays, yeah. drive through the distribution, okay. and then gotcha. my son works on Wednesdays at the warehouse, at one of the other warehouses. And we dabble between all three days. <laughs> wow. So what is what has the change been like since this whole pandemic thing has hit? For this part or for our personal lives? Well, for any of it. <laughs> um, well, being as we homeschool and now we're doing this 30 plus hours a week, um, yeah. it's kind of put a damper in the, the homeschool side of it. And yeah. we don't get to go out. They kicked us out of the river and the lake. Yes, but this is a good yeah. place for us to see each other. Yeah. We're so socialized. we're all used to being around each other every day. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a good, in the beginning it was a way, like the only way that we saw each yeah. other in the beginning. Yeah. So what about the facility here? How have things changed here? Um, <sighs> We have to pack on a much yeah. grander scale, yeah. so we have to, we have to have way more people in here. We have to set our tables up a lot different so that we can access everything. Um, yeah, I mean, before this, they would pack a couple hundred a week, maybe, and now week. we're and that's it. And now we do close to twelve hundred here. We do about eight hundred on Wednesdays, and then Thursday mornings, it's in another eight hundred or a thousand in a day instead of in a month. Wow. <laughs> so. So yeah. what we're doing once a week is what we used to do once a month. That's great. And more yeah. bigger than that, I yeah. believe. I think we're much yeah. larger than that. We're above that. Well, thanks for showing us the ropes. Absolutely. Thanks Thank for you for packing bags. Doing. You did awesome. Yeah, absolutely. You can come back, pack bags anytime. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for showing us the ropes and for all you do for our community. If you're interested in helping out or donating to their efforts, visit their website, foodbankofnc.org, or go to the Connecting Point Volunteer Hub at volunteerhub.connectingpoint.org. We'll leave you today with some more shots of our trip to the food bank, plus a list of all the wonderful volunteers whose hard work makes it run. Thanks again for all you do. And remember, stay safe, take care of each other, and we'll see you tomorrow.